side, and we're going to kind of bait him into thinking that this one is going to do that too. The way that we do that is knee clamps down on his knee or shin. Well, I'm going to take my hand, I'm posting it on the ankle. I'll take my free hand here and post it somewhere up here by his thigh, his hip, somewhere up in that area. And from here, leaning this way, both my hands and my knee this way, it really feels like the top guy that this move has something to do with the right side. And that's where I'm trying to get out. Maybe I'm trying to get my hips up just like we did in that last move. But instead what we're going to do is we're going to cast over to the other side. Uh, all that we need to do for that to work is raise our hips just enough to get to above this thigh. You don't want to get them super high, just enough to get above that thigh. And then as that happens, we're going to switch our hips. I'm going to take my knee that I was leaning on his knee or shin, and I'm going to kick that back through as I turn my hips so that my butt faces the sky at the end of this. So up here, slight push up, elevate my hips, kick back through to the other side here. From here, finish is pretty simple. I'm gonna shoot my arm behind this knee joint, crash down with this elbow here, basically in the position it was already in, and we're gonna try and roll back for a cheesy tilt here for some near fall. Anyone else? Alright, on three. One, two, three. 